Thank you, Philip, and uh, thank you, Emil, as well. And uh, hello, everyone. So my name is Dennis. I'm the product manager for our server and data center product here at Refined. And in this segment, I'll share a bit on our recent updates for our data center products. So here's the agenda. We'll first go over a few of our biggest releases from last year. And I'll then expand on this by briefly sharing what we'll work on in the near future as well. And then finally, one feature uh, that we in the data center team feels uh, deserve an extra shout out. So diving straight in, first up is customizing my requests. Uh, so last year, we released a large set of new features for Refined for Jira. And if you're a user of that, products, you might already be familiar with the improvements that we made uh, to the My Request section and its associated landing page modules. Here we improved the filter section to allow your end users to tailor and customize their view of requests in order to cut out the noise and focus on what's important. Uh, either doing so via the expanded filters or via the search bar. You're also able to fully configure the columns in this view in order to uh, and order them around. And this way, your users can consume the information about their requests in a way that's best suited for them. On the module side, uh, for your that you use on your refined site and on your landing pages, the admins can configure and filter these based on request types, groups, or even using advanced filter options in order to cover all uh, use cases, essentially. And next up, we have a richer commenting experience for our users. So in our latest release, also for Refined for Jira, that just went out, we overhauled the request comment editor. So this now features a fully fledged a rich text editor with supports for code blocks, headings, and other formatting options that you would expect. And a popular feature here that's now supported are user mentions. This, in addition to being able to, for example, add your images directly in line in the comment with the added uh, formatting options, the users can then easily paint the picture of what their experience experiencing or what they need directly in the comment itself. Another highlight included in the most recent releases of both Refined for Jira and Refined for Confluence is the new feature of integrating Refined between the two Atlassian applications. And in this first iteration, you'll be able to configure seamless navigation between your refined sites on both Confluence and Jira. So this is a great way to create a unified look and structure for your sites while, both, while leveraging both the powers of Confluence and Jira. So here's an example. We're starting out on our Jira Help Center. We've added our Confluence intranet to be easily available. And from here, you still have all your Confluence pages as per usual. You can see we still have the Jira sites available in the site switcher, but you can also navigate to your user profile menu and there's links to my requests, taking you directly back to that section of your Jira instance. So this way, of course, you'll be able to create a seamless navigation between the two applications. Uh, and of course, with the added ability to be able to fully configure this in terms of uh, what sites to include or show and what user menu links to include. So that's some of our most recent updates. Let's take a look at what's planned in the near future. So first off, we'll continue to work on the refined integration and cross-product functionality space. There's a lot that can be done here, uh, with the next steps being able to add modules from both Confluence and Jira on your refined sites. 
for example, displaying Confluence pages or news uh, directly in Jira or adding a request type module directly on your documentation page on the Confluence site. Secondly, we'll of course continue uh, our ongoing ent enterprise related work in areas around performance, stability and trust for our server and data center products. And of course, enhancing our site builder features with the new page builder, which you'll see more on uh, later. There's one more often overlooked feature that I want to run by you. Uh, because I feel it has the potential to really improve uh, the way you work with your sites. Uh, and it acts as both a dictionary feature, but also a list of custom text variables uh, in Refined for Jira. And while it integrates well with the multi-language setup that you can use in Refined for Jira, it also works great without having the need to add additional languages as well. You can, for example, uh, set up a base URL variable to use when setting up your modules to allow for a smooth import-export experience of the layouts, or also when moving from between different instances. Uh, it's also a place where you can easily add that in one place and then just change it there instead of on all your layouts, for example. There's also a logic syntax which evaluates dynamic values so that you could do things like always have an up-to-date copyright message or a greeting that would say good morning or good afternoon based on the time of day. Uh, but there's much more information about this and other features as well on our documentation, our help site. So check there or reach out to us if you have any further questions. That was all for this spotlight and for me. So thank you very much for your time. Great, thank you, Dennis. We had one question from the audience from Martin. He asked, any idea when the, it will be available for DC? I think it means the page builder. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's no firm date. It's just on the roadmap for this year. Is that right? Exactly. Um, no firm date but later this year and uh, we'll we'll get some more details from Daniel I think okay great well thank you Dennis